iCloud enables working across devices and backup of work, so it's important we get it right. In this video we'll have a look at iCloud settings and managing storage on iDevices. So to do this we go to settings to start. And in settings we scroll down until we get to iCloud. And first of all make sure the backup is on. Once you've done backup on, there's three main areas we're going to explore for the storage on iCloud. First of all, iCloud Drive. So let's click on that one to start. You'll see here iCloud Drive allows apps to store documents and data in the cloud. All right, and all the apps here that allow that. All right, I haven't found this takes up too much space, but for you, it might be taking up space. If that's the case, you can slide these to off. So now let's go back to iCloud settings. And the next part we're going to have a look at is photos. So let's click on photos. Now obviously if you have this top one set on, it's going to take up a huge amount of storage, so I'll have it off. But my photo stream, um, the same thing, can add up to a huge amount of space. So you just have to monitor these and work out which way is best. This one I keep on because you choose albums that you want to share across devices, but again, you just have to monitor these for space. So now moving to the next bit, clicking on iCloud. So we're now going to monitor storage that's actually on this device. So to do this, click on storage and manage storage. And this bit, we've got a few parts here. These documents and data are stuff that are stored across all of my devices. All right, so let's have a look at those first. Let's click on Keynote to have a look. And you'll see here all my Keynote files that are across all my iDevices. If I want to delete one of them, I just slide sideways. And you'll see I then have the option for delete. So continuing on to the next bit here, let's go to manage storage again. And this time we're going to click on our device. And here you'll see the apps that are taking up space on the device. If we click show all apps, we can see all the apps that are taking up space on our device. Now it's obviously things like photo library, if you've got it on, it'll be a huge amount of space. So turning that off straight away will give you heaps of free up a heap of space. But often a lot of other apps, you don't need to be making iCloud backups and you can turn these down. This is the big area that makes a big difference for space on your device. So once you've done each of those things, you should have freed up a whole lot of space on your device and you should be able to back your device up as normal all right, and not have too many problems. I hope that's helped.